friends, it's me, Fly Lady Cat. Today we're going to talk about feeling overwhelmed. If you're feeling overwhelmed, you just have way too much to do. Number one, you're going to need a plan. And that's what I give you. The Fly Lady plan will really help you. But number two, sometimes we're so overwhelmed that we can't really do that plan. We're too overwhelmed to get it enough together to do the plan. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is maintain. Maintain by doing routines and clutter checks. That's all. If you're feeling overwhelmed, then you need a little break. So you're going to do clutter checks and routines. So let's talk about that. What is your routine? The first routine in an overwhelmed state, the first routine you're going to do is your morning routine. The morning routine and the before bed routine are going to be your cornerstones, the most important being the before bed routine, but we'll get there. So the morning routine, you're going to get up in the morning and make your bed. If you're feeling overwhelmed, you tend to want to stay in bed or stay in your pajamas, which is a form of staying in bed. So get up and make your bed. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be made so that you won't get back in it. Pull up the sheet, pull up the cover, the blanket, whatever, get the pillows where they need to be. You're done. Then go wash your face and brush your teeth and put some moisturizer on and pull your hair back in a ponytail or something. You don't have to wear makeup, but you do need to wash your face and brush your teeth and put some moisturizer on. Then I want you to go once around the toilet. You don't have to do like a big scrub of the toilet. Just give it a little, a placeholder. It's what I call that, placeholder. Okay, excuse the fingers. Anyway, a placeholder, go around the toilet bowl once, tap it off, that's good enough. Wipe your sink out with whatever. Do you have a cloth that you just wash your face with? Wipe the sink out. If not, get something and wipe the sink out. I don't care if it's some toilet paper, wipe your sink out. These are placeholders, so you're not doing the full-blown thing, but you're holding the place for when you are feeling better, when you can squirt it with some Mrs. Myers or whatever you're using and give it a good whirl around or really wipe the sink nicely. But for right now, we're doing a placeholder. We're maintaining. You're overwhelmed. I don't want you to do too much. Then we're going to go um, into the kitchen and we're going to put the dishes away from yesterday. Yeah, you may have dishes all over the sink. But that's okay. Find any clean dishes you have and put them away. So if you have a dishwasher, it's empty, or you have a dish rack, it's empty, or you have both, they're empty. Then you're going to um, go into the laundry room. Yep, that's all you're going to do in the kitchen. Just empty the, put the dishes away. Go into the laundry room now and pick out a load of laundry. Just what do you need the most of? Do you need towels or underwear worse? Whatever it is, put that load in the machine. Put some soap in there and detergent and turn it on. Let it work and go back in the kitchen. We're not even going to do paper clutter. We're just going to do these maintenance kind of thing. All right, now when you're in the kitchen, I want you to put on a pot of coffee. You're dressed. Did I say get your clothes on? I hope I did. After you make the bed, you have to put your clothes on. You can't be in your PJs, okay? So put some clothes on. Um, now you're dressed, you've got your hair pulled back, your face is clean, your teeth are clean, the bathroom's semi taken care of, your bedroom looks okay, you've got a load of laundry going. Aren't you feeling better already? Your dishes are put up. Now I want you to take all the glasses and cups and either wash them in the sink and put them out to drain or put them in the dishwasher. If you have more cups and glasses that will fit on the top load of the dishwasher, and it looks like it could go into a second load, then just leave those on the drain, but organize them. If it's just a few, hand wash those and put them to drain as well, okay? Next, take all the flat plates that you have, the little ones, and line them up in the dishwasher. If you have room, put all the dinner plates in the dishwasher. If you have more room, put all the bowls in the dishwasher. Not the serving bowls, not the pots and pans, just these things. Now, do you have some forks? Gather them all up and put them in the dishwasher in one spot. All the butter knives, put them together. All the sharp knives, put them together. All the small teaspoons, put them together. All the tablespoons, put them together. Um, I think that's it. Okay, if you have any more room in your dishwasher, then put your serving spoons in there. Don't put them underneath where the, where the thing is gonna hit it. If they're too tall, lay them on the top shelf. If they're not too tall or it's not going to inhibit your machine from twirling around, you know, the water thingy, then put them in the dishwasher. 
if you don't have a dishwasher, you're going to wash each set of dishes, just like I just described. You're going to do that. What you should have left, if there is room, you can put serving bowls in there or even pots and pans. If there is no room, put the soap in the dishwasher, the detergent, close it and run it. Now, organize what's left and wash them by hand or um, get them ready for the next load. Because once that load is done, you're going to put those dishes away. You're going to have to dry them with a, dry, with a towel because there's things that just won't dry in the short period of time that you're going to allow them to be in there. But that's okay. Let it run its full cycle and then dry off anything that's still wet and put them away. Reload it and run it again. Do the same thing. Unless it's such a little amount that you just have room for dinner dishes and that'll be great. And then you'll be on track with your dishes. Having your dishes taken care of in your pots and your pans makes a big difference. So while that first load is running, or after you've washed the plates and the bowls and the cups and the, and the silverware, while the pots and the bowls that you had things stuck on are soaking, let them soak in that warm soapy water, let's go clean the stove top. So we're going to spray it with something good, something that you know works, and wipe it off. Get all the food particles off your stove and make it look shiny. Okay, it's not going to be perfect, it's going to be clean. Now we also should have some space, at least where those dishes were, so we're going to spray the counter and wipe it off. Don't you feel better already? Now that towel that you've been using, let's switch that out and get a new kitchen towel. Okay, so while the dishwasher is running or while these dishes are drying on the rack um, and while these pots and pans are soaking, let's go do something else. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tidy up your house. So let's do a little clutter check. Is there anything in this kitchen that doesn't belong in here? Get a laundry basket and put it in there because it goes somewhere else. Don't run to the other room right now. Just put it in a laundry basket, okay? Now let's go look in the kitchen eat-in area or the dining room. Anything in there? Anything that belongs in here that was in the kitchen? Let's take care of that. Now let's go into the family room or the living room. Anything that doesn't belong in this room, put it in the basket. Anything that does go in this room, take it from the basket and put it in this room. Now let's go to your children's rooms, the oldest child's room first, or children's rooms. Anything that doesn't belong in here goes in the basket. Anything that does belong in here gets put away in this room. It's put away, not slung in a corner. Put it where it goes. Next, any other children's rooms you might have. The guest room. Now, in the guest room, if this is where you've been shoving and hiding things for a long time, it's going to be very difficult to take things out that don't belong in here. Instead, if you know something does belong in here out of this basket, you're going to put it in the corner of this room. Maybe this is where the basket will live now. Everything that doesn't, but let's go to do your room first before we do this, this shove room. It could be your office. It could be the, it could be the basement. It could be the guest room. Whatever that room is, let's save that for last. Let's go in your bedroom. Anything that doesn't belong in there gets put in the basket. Anything that does belong in there gets taken out of the basket. Oh, you've got some more kids' things. Let's run back by the kids' rooms one more time. All right, now let's go into any other rooms that you might have. And at the last, <clears throat> excuse me, the last room is going to be the room where you shoved everything in the past. So in this room, maybe something truly does belong in here. So we're going to leave the basket because everything left in the basket belongs in here. So leave the basket in the corner in this room. Or if you don't have a spare laundry basket, put it in a box in this room. That's what you're going to do for now. Now we're going to do a tidy of what's left. So go back in the kitchen. Is everything tidy? Is it all shoved into the middle? Let's, let's put it where it goes. Let's go into the dining room and the living room and the children's room and tidy a little bit. Now what we're going to do is maintain because you're not feeling great, but you've done so much work today. From now on, you're going to do your after dinner routine where all the dishes go in the dishwasher or they get washed and put away. I washed them go in the drain rack and um, you're going to clean the stove. Somebody's going to sweep. The after dinner routine is wiping the table, wiping the counter, sweeping the floor, wiping the stove, washing the pans. Everybody's dishes in the dishwasher or get washed in the sink. That's the after dinner routine. You've got to do that after dinner. And then after dinner, I want you to run, go get your shower because you haven't had one in a day or two. Let's get a shower. Maybe you need to wash your hair. You're going to feel better. And put on your moisturizer and put on your PJs. And when you're putting on your PJs, that's your reminder because it's clothing 
to get out your clothes for tomorrow. Do you know what it's going to be tomorrow? Is it going to be cold, windy, rainy, hot? What is it going to be? Put your clothes out. Are you going somewhere? Do you need different clothes? Put them out. Now, if you work, this is going to be a Saturday thing. And then on Saturday, Saturday night, you're going to be doing these things. On Sunday, you're going to maintain what you've already achieved by doing a clutter check four times a day to make sure that no new clutter is coming to these places. Besides doing your morning routine and your after dinner routine and your before bed routine, you're going to do three clutter checks. So back to the before bed routine. Before bed routine, you've got your clothes laid out for tomorrow. That's enough for right now. Go enjoy your family. This is what life is about. Uh, your children can do their before bed routine, which is take a bath, brush their teeth, wipe out their sink, hang up their towel, get on their PJs, laundry goes in the dirty clothes basket, um, pick out their book, and get some clothes laid out for tomorrow for them as well. Now we're going to read to them, spend time with them, get them tucked in bed. Kids need to go to bed at a decent hour. You need time by yourself. You can't maintain if you're not getting rest. And part of rest is mental rest while you're awake and then physical rest while you're asleep. So when the kids are in bed, I want you to go and relax. Enjoy the evening. Do whatever it is that you normally do with or without your spouse, depending on your situation. And then at some point during the day, I forgot to tell you to put your clothes in the dryer and to fold them and put them away. So that would have happened during the day. Um, just one load. Now you're going to go make sure you do the before, the last part of the before bed routine. You're going to make sure the dishwasher has soap in it and it's running. You're going to make sure that any last few dishes that were used after dinner get put in the sink, get taken out of the sink and put in the dishwasher. You're going to wipe your sink out and you're going to take that towel to the laundry room and get another clean towel and hang it out for tomorrow morning. You're starting tomorrow with a clean sink, a clean towel, clear counters. Isn't that good? And so you're going to go to bed tonight at a decent hour and you're going to sleep. But before you do that, you're going to take care of your teeth. The last part of before bed routine is cleaning your teeth and flossing and going to bed. Tomorrow morning, you're going to wake up and you're going to do your morning routine. You're going to do another load of laundry. You're going to do um, um, the kids' morning routine. They're going to get up and get dressed too um, and have breakfast. You're going to clean up after each of the meals. You're going to have the after dinner routine, the before bed routine, and three clutter checks. If you have tiny children who dump toys on the floor, four clutter checks. But this is all you're going to do. You're not going to do anything else. If it's a Sunday, it's Renew Your Spirit Day, but you're still going to do these things. If it's a Monday and you have to go to work, then you're going to do part of this in the morning and part of this when you come home. You're going to do three clutter checks, one before you leave, one after you get home, one before bed. Okay? And you're going to do that all week long. You're going to maintain until you don't feel overwhelmed anymore. And you feel like you can actually spray the toilet and give it a good, a good uh, swish, all the toilets, and spray the sink and give it a nice wipe, wipe off the handles, the faucets and the spigot. So that's how you maintain when you're overwhelmed. And that's what I want you to do when you're overwhelmed. Okay? That's it for today. I hope this was helpful. And I hope you always remember that you are beautiful. So be beautiful.